Hi everyone, it's Budget with Mama Bear. Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you are new here, thanks for coming along. I am a cash budgeting mama bear who is on a financial freedom journey with my family to become debt free. Um, on Fridays, we normally do uh, some sort of a video that has to go deal with planning, weekly check-ins, um, we do sinking funds, stuffing when we have it, and I try to throw in some budgeting tips along the way. So again, if you are new, thank you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so when I post a video, you will get notified. Hit the notification bell as well. Okay, so we have our planner ready to go, but let's see how much money we pulled out of the bank to, um, so we have for our weekend events. Okay, so we're gonna move this to the side. <clears throat> All right, so I have my cash envelope. This this is a nice envelope that I use. It's kind of getting a little, but I use it, you know. <laughs> All right, so here we have $970. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it in my tray, but I want you to know we are not stuffing $970 today. Um, I'm gonna talk and put my money away as we do it. So what I do is, how I budget, is when we get um, money or a paycheck, um, I keep in the bank all the money that is taken out for bills that we regularly pay. I do not pull that money out of the bank because I usually pay my bills online. So some people make those binders where they have bill binders and they put either um, the real money or the prop money in there just to kind of keep track. I haven't done that just yet. I'm kind of on the fence about it. Um, maybe I'll do that one day, but right now I don't. Um, but what I do is I take that, I subtract, and then I, whatever's left over, I pull out and then I allot it to different places. One is my cash envelopes, okay, that for the week in my wallet. The next place is my sinking funds that I regularly stuff. The next would be savings challenge Sunday money. And then finally, game night Monday. Okay, Monday game night. Sorry, I called it wrong. <laughs> Monday game night. Now, you might think that I put a lot of money into my savings days, but remember that money is important to me because it funds debt payoff, it funds my sinking funds and savings in the bank. So that's why I spend so much on that. Plus, I am on a kick to save as much as I can. Okay, now that includes that saving money goes towards paying debt off. So it's kind of incorporated in that. All right, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our get our planner and we are going to look at our monthly spending. Okay, so I have a monthly spread here that I have and I track my expenses, all of that on this one calendar. So I went ahead and filled in for this week so far and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so you can see a little bit better. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at this because there's some interesting things that have come up. So let me get something, because my nails are pretty. Uh, I haven't gotten them done yet. I do have an appointment. <laughs> so you'll be looking at something nicer pretty soon. So we'll use this pretty nice bling thing. <laughs> Here, we'll use this side. Okay, so if you take a look, um, this day originally on my last week's video was a no spend day. But guess what? I filmed too early. <laughs> I ended up spending um, Etsy and then I ate out. So I changed that. I covered it up and put in what I spent. I was a good girl and made sure to report that. I also spent on Saturday another eat out. Um, we went out to dinner and then um, we ha uh, did another Etsy spending. There's been some really fun things that have been launched out in the budgeting community and I went ahead and supported that. Plus I needed some things for me on some other areas. So, um, but we did go out to dinner and we spent $59.23. Um, then of course on Sunday, I typically do spend because I go to the grocery store, um, and I usually take my dad with me and he does his grocery shopping while I do mine. So I did spend grocery shopping on Sunday. Again, I had a no spend on Monday, Tuesday, which as you can see, 
I'm pretty consistent on that. So these are my good days. And I was thinking about it. And I'm like, why am I not spending on these days? Well, I'll be honest with you. I am very busy. <laughs> and I'm probably getting home late. I'm tired. And I'm not even going online a lot of the times because I'm tired. <laughs> or I'm filming something or whatever. It's just not a good day to spend. So yay for being busy. All right. And then I got my hair done on Wednesday. So that was 105. That's with tip and everything. My, my hairdresser is amazing. Um, and then again on Etsy. <laughs> um, on Thursday, um, I did a, I, we had like a fundraiser thing that was going on for kids. And I went ahead and bought some things for that. So I spent $10 on a fundraiser. And then today is when I'm filming it on Friday. I'm not going to put it in ahead of time. You'll have to see next Friday what ended up being today because you never know what's gonna happen. My goal is to not spend today, but we'll see. Okay, so that is that. And then again, um, remember I am tracking my dailies on this tracker sheet from Budget Like Nicole, and I keep it out on the counter, so that way I can just easily add in as I spend money. So everything that I just talked about is on here. Okay, and I will link her, her shop down below, so if you're interested in that tracker, you can check it out. Um, a Little of It All also has a spending tracker that you can put in your A7 wallet. She just came out with it. So I'll link her channel down there below because it's really cute, and she likes to just write it right there in her wallet. And if that's something you're interested in, that might be something good to add. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our weekly check-in. So let's see how we did today. Let's see how we did. Okay, we've, oh, I'm, I don't know why I always put it over there because I'm a right-sided, I write with my right hand, so I need to be over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our wallet out. And I wanna say, I think I did really good on groceries this week. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself. I'm trying to nibble down my grocery bill, at least for now, because you know, when the boys come home, it, that definitely disappears. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some, sort quick. <laughs> on my fingers here. All right. All right, so oops, that finally came out. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and see how we did. Um, let's see our April pen, here we go. Groceries, so we had a lot of $250 for groceries and we have left, oh, what am I forgetting? Calculator, 50, 70, 172. So we have $72 left. Oh, nice. I've been doing good with my groceries. I mean, this is probably the lowest this month, but still to have leftover is really good. Part of it is not taking my husband with me. <laughs> um, all right. So that we spent 178. Okay. So we're going to put this to the side. All right. So Spending, we did spend $10 on that fundraiser. So let's see, we spent 10 and we have $10 left. Okay. All right, eat out. Let's see what we have in here. We have $11. We budgeted for 20. We have $11 left. So we spent $9. Okay. All right, fun. We still have our 20 back, so we spent zero, and that left us with $20. And miscellaneous, let's see, I always put 20 in here. Let's see what we have left. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we only took five out of there, and we're left with $15. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. I'm gonna show you how we do the rest here. Okay. So let's go ahead and add up how much we had left over. $128. Okay, so if you're not new, you know that I put this money towards debt. And so, um, but I also take out the ones. So let's see how much we're gonna actually put towards debt because that's a new thing I'm gonna start putting over here. So let me go ahead and organize the money really quickly. Okay, money is organized. Let's count and see. 
So we've got, we have, let's pull out our ones so you can see how many ones we have. And we're gonna look for B-Bucks, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one B-Buck. All right, so this B-Buck is actually from my husband. I traded him for it. Uh, and instead of stealing from his wallet, I went ahead and traded him. <laughs> but he actually brought it to me and he goes, I have a B-Buck, I have a B-Buck. <laughs> so it was kind of cute. But um, so I have one B-Buck. So um, yeah, so we're gonna take these ones and we are going to put that towards our dollar challenge. We'll put the B-Buck on top, all right? And then all of this is gonna go towards debt. So let's go ahead and count this out. 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20. So 120 is going towards debt, okay? So I'll go back and watch these and see just how much we had towards debt here so we can get a monthly check-in at the end of the month and see what we did. All right, so we're gonna set that money aside and we are done with our binder. Another thing we do on Fridays is if I have any fun happy mail, I try to pop those in. So I have only two pieces this week, so hang in there with me. Um, I did have one thing that I bought a while ago. It was like a pre-order from Two Sister Bees. And I have one of the two things that I got and I'm so excited. I was so excited. I opened it already, y'all. But I need to share with you what it is because these are now available um, to order from them, either through their Ko-Fi account, which I will put that down below, or their Etsy shop, and they have limited on, on there as well. But this is something that we are gonna start using in our savings challenge videos. So, da, da, da. I have wanted these Busy Bee cards since I found Two Sister Bees on YouTube. These are the new version. They're in this gorgeous box. There's a ton of them. And they are very similar to Crazy Cards, but there's, there's a lot. And I haven't even like opened them. But look at how gorgeous these are. We're gonna go ahead and show you what they look like. They had them professionally done. There's like this holographic top card. I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful quality. And then there are savings add-ons. So like this one, um, you stop to pick wildflowers, save any amount you wish. Let's try one more. Oh, there's a whole bunch. I haven't shuffled them. Yeah, we don't wanna see that. You know how that goes. <laughs> Honey money, save $4. Okay, so they're all different things that you can add in to your savings. And you can do this any way you want. I'm gonna bring these in to Sunday Savings Day. Um, and I'm gonna use my crazy cards for Monday game night. So these are gonna be for my Sunday Savings Challenge to add a little extra money. But another thing that I got with it is not the envelope, because I added this, I have it ready to go, is the dashboard cover and it's laminated for the savings cards, which is great. I don't have to make anything, okay? And then I got this Rain or Shine, because this is their freebie. Rain or Shine, you will grow. This is perfect right now because the weather is still cruddy here. And so there's a Rain or Shine little challenge. And then of course, a cute little sun extra bonus. So that was really sweet. So thank you for the freebies. And I'm so excited to finally get these cards. Oh, <laughs> so check them out. They're really fun. All right, this one I did not buy. And I was so surprised to get it. <laughs> I was not expecting this. And it says, don't worry, she won this. <laughs> it's okay, hubby doesn't see my mail. <laughs> and he does, he, he's actually good with it. Okay, so and there's this cute little sticker here. This is from Busy Lizzie, guys. And I don't know what this is. I just popped this thing off and I chose not to peek. I wanted to be surprised. There's a couple, couple things in here. Oh. Oh, I've been seeing these and she sent me one. Oh, <laughs> now I'm going to get all sappy. So if you don't like sappy, fast forward. Okay, this is Ranger. And it is just adorable. 
This is the Ranger Savings Challenge. This is her dog. If you don't know her, it's Busy Lizzie Budgets. Make sure you check out her channel. She's amazing. She is such a sweet friend on, um, that I have grown to love. <laughs> and um, I just, uh, I don't know. You know how there's just those people that you connect with? And I have had that blessing being on this channel and connecting with other YouTubers out there. And I consider you guys my friends. Um, and I know it's kind of a weird relationship that we all have because we're all online, but I truly do because I watch your videos. We interact on social media and it's just, it's really nice to be motivated by like-minded people, right? <laughs> okay, so this is her cute dog. Um, yeah, so check out my previous videos about Ranger, and you can check her channel out too, so why this is so special. So I love this. I can't wait. I'm going to use this right away for something. Probably my pet. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. Okay. Oh, and she gave me a pink envelope. A card. Aw. It says, Ranger says thank you, and it's pink. She knows I love pink. <laughs> so cute. Oh, okay, let's see. Dear Steph, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your generous donations to Rangers Vet Bills. This helps so much. It was quite the huge surprise for me. I'm so proud of you for reaching your thousand subscribers and they are still coming fast. Thanks for being so generous with my subscribers. I look forward to working with you again in the near future. You are such a bright light in the budgeting community. Never change. Thanks again. Liz and Ranger, Busy Lizzie's budget. Aw, thank you, Lizzie. And this is really adorable. I love this. So thank you so much for this. I, it really means a lot. Okay, so we are going to bring our money back and we are going to start our cash stuffing. Woohoo! Okay, so we need to fill the wallet. All right, so these beautiful... Um, Cash envelopes are from Budget with Carly. She is on a little break right now, but please follow her shop on Etsy so when she comes back, you can check her out, okay? Carly, by the way, I need some new ones for a new wallet I bought, so I might reach out to you. If not, if you're not making them, that's cool, but um, anybody else out there make really cute ones like this? I just don't have the time to do it, and I really need some new envelopes. <laughs> okay. So, um, and it doesn't have to be this style, but reach out to me if you do and you want me to check your Etsy shop out or other shop. So groceries this week is going to get, we're going to stick with the 250 guys. We did good last week. So we're just going to put 250 in here. Take advantage of that while the boys are not here. <laughs> Spending is our normal 20 for me and 20 for hubby. Let's see. Okay. That's his. <laughs> <laughs> all right um eat out is 20 for me 20 for hubby okay <laughs> that's that one uh fun money is we are going to put 20 dollars in here and then miscellaneous is our regular 10 five and five ones. Oh no. Ha ha ha. I didn't check my bank. <gasps> All right. We'll do that in a minute. Oh, <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. I'm going <gasps> because there's B bucks in there and I didn't check it when I got back from the bank. I just really literally popped it open with you. Okay. So there you go. So the wallet's done. We are good for the week. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna check our ones. So follow along with me. All right, well, we ended up with two B-Bucks, yay! So that will come out. I, I will have to subtract it from the money I have budgeted because I'm putting these on Savings Challenge Sunday to go into um, our dollar binder. Okay. Yay, two B-Bucks. The bank's doing real good lately. <laughs> okay, so the next thing 
we have to do is we are going to stuff some sinking funds. Now, let me show you real quick what we're gonna be doing. So last week, we finished the Who's Ready for a Cruise, and I've decided to put that money into the graduation trip and not the cruise, <laughs> because we have some more time to save for this, and graduation trip is coming quick. So we saved $150, so I'm gonna show you where that money is gonna go. All right, so lodging. We are going to add 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 dollars in lodging. So we're going to put that in here and I'm going to show you on the tracker where we're at. So we put 40, so these are in increments of 20. So we get to do two today. So we should have 240 dollars in here. And I'm not going to count it because it'll make for a very long video. But eventually we're going to have to condense this. All right, transportation is getting 10, 15, 20. I love when you finish challenges and you can stuff them in other things that you really don't have the money to stuff for. So these are in increments of 20 as well. So we're gonna do one. So we should have 240 in here too. All right, food is getting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I put a big chunk in there because, you know, when you're traveling, you tend to buy a lot of food and go out to dinner. And where he goes to school, it's pretty pricey to go out there. So I had seven. We're still going to have to carry that down. Um, and we're putting 50 in. These are in increments of 10. So let's see. So we're putting in, so we're going to do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we should have $207 in here. Okay, still have to add. All right, shopping is getting 10, 15, 20. And that's if I want to buy an outfit or, or if I want to buy a gift. It's probably going to go towards a gift. I don't know. So we said 20. So that is 10 and 20. So we should have $70 in here now. Okay, rental car, because we have to rent a car when we're there, is getting 20. And these travel trackers are from 10 and 20. So I should have $100 in here, rental car. It's from Jordan Budgets, and it's a great way to specifically track for one individual um, trip that you're trying to spread out. So I really like that. Okay, so this this was from Cindy Cat Budgets, and I finished it, and that's where it went. All right, so that's going to go in my little binder of finished savings challenges that I'm tracking for the year. And then the other one that we finished is the Larry Bucks challenge. And I've decided to put that in my Mama Bear business binder, the 80s binder that I have. And we're gonna take this and put it back in there because we can do another 100 on the other side, but I wanted to show you where that money is going. All right, so um, budget with Mama Bear is getting, oh no, I know what this is. I haven't created it yet. <laughs> Remember, I told you my time has been crazy. But this is going to go towards my post office box because I haven't been saving for the following year. I have a year paid up, but I need to save up so when the year's over, I can also add this in. Okay? All right. So that's going there. My budget with Mama Bear business um, is getting $10. That goes for anything I need. You you yeah, I don't know. YouTube right now, supplies, all that. Etsy, I need to stuff. So that is getting 15. Okay, so that is that. And then the rest of the money is going in my sinking funds. All right, so car maintenance is getting 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 added. And I'm not counting it right now on purpose. Okay. Costco is getting 10. And you'll find out later why I'm not counting it. <laughs> 
household is getting 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Stuff these. I'm trying to stuff fast, so that's not the most pretty thing. Pets is getting 20. Propane is getting nothing, and Yard is getting nothing. All right, so I think that's it. Um, now we have our regular sinking funds and some extra money that we're going to use towards sinking funds today that we're going to go ahead and stuff. So we're going to get our yearly binder out and we're going to go right to lacrosse and lacrosse is getting $50. Okay. Those of you who are new, I saved to pay for my son's lacrosse season in college and this is for next season. All right. So we'll color in one lacrosse ball and put this in our lacrosse binder. And then wood, this time is only getting 20. We're actually doing pretty good on what we need for this. So we'll put that in. I'm not gonna count it today, but we'll count it in another day. All right, we're gonna get my sparkly binder back out and go to propane. Propane is getting 20. And yard is getting 100. We're getting close to hopefully getting me able to work out in the yard. <laughs> the weather's been so bad. And that needs a lot of money in it. So I put more money into yard this time. Okay, so we are done stuffing. That is all the money we're putting in today. I was wrong. <laughs> um, so thank you again for stopping by. All of this leftover money is going towards Sunday savings and Monday game night. So make sure you check those out. Um, I hope you're all still here because I have somewhat of an announcement to make. I have only heard from two of my four winners for my giveaway that I announced last uh, Monday game night. So make sure you go back and watch that if you entered because I still need two more to contact me and I'm gonna give you another week and so by next Friday. So if I haven't heard from you by next Friday and I'll announce this in each one of my videos this weekend, I will have to draw another winner because I really need to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> and so please, 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 if you're a follower of mine and you've entered, go back and watch, check out to see who won, maybe it's you. All right, thanks again for stopping by. Have a blessed day.